scientists over the last 20 years have figured out that we have these inbuilt mechanisms to delay aging. There are what we call longevity genes and they protect us against the nine major causes of aging, which we call the hallmarks of aging. And these are typically things that uh, we hear about in, in the news uh, occasionally, the loss of mitochondrial function. So these are the power packs of the cell, uh, loss of stem cells, loss of the ability to respond to nutrients, uh, proteins misfolding. There's a long list actually. Uh, and so what these longevity genes do is that they they actually, they're not normally active in our modern life, unfortunately. Us sitting around and eating constantly is the worst thing for us. Uh, and so that's why diet and exercise for a start is, is, is the way to go. That turns on these longevity gene defenses. Now, there are a few uh, molecules that have, well, lots actually, hundreds of molecules that have been found to extend the lifespan of simple um, and dozens of, of, of mammals, including mice and, and some dogs. And metformin is one of just a handful of drugs that are already available on the market for treating a disease. Uh, the other famous one is called rapamycin, which is uh, less safe than metformin, but nevertheless is, is pretty potent for lifespan extension. But getting to metformin, the reason metformin is exciting is uh, for a few reasons. One is that it activates the pathways that I was just talking about, these longevity defenses. Uh, the ones we work on and I talk about in my book are called sirtuins. And there are a, a few other family members, uh, but it's not really that complicated. As long as we turn on our body's defenses, it seems that we can live longer and healthier. Now this drug metformin is, was discovered oh, way back in the 20th century and the 60s, I believe. Uh, it became more popular in the 70s and has now been in millions of people as the first line of defense against type two diabetes, which is high blood sugar in the elderly, typically in the elderly. Um, and if you're obese and you don't exercise, you're predisposed to type two diabetes, um, which of course will uh, age you more rapidly uh, and shorten your lifespan. So at a minimum metformin will help prevent and actually treat that disease and bring down your blood sugar levels, hopefully. And it's a relatively safe drug as far as drugs go. It's on the list of, um, essential med medicines for humanity. I think that's the World Health Organization's definition. And what it does is it, uh, it does many things, this drug. Um, it uh, originally comes from, uh, what is it? The, the French lilac. Uh, it's now, it's modified to be longer lasting in the body, but it's, it's essentially a natural molecule uh, that one of the things it does is it interferes with the mitochondria that make the energy in the cells and tricks the cells into thinking that they don't have enough energy and so they, they ramp up their energy production. And this also helps turn on the longevity genes, which also get tricked into thinking there's adversity and perhaps some starvation going on. And so the outcome of that seems to be that cells are more resistant to diseases uh, and deterioration over time. And epidemiologically, in studies that have looked at tens of thousands of people, typically in the US uh, veterans, there's a statistically significant effect, not just on the diminution of type two diabetes, but also lessening of uh, predisposition to other diseases, which includes heart disease, frailty, and cancer. Uh, and so that's a big deal. If it's true, it means that a simple drug, it's relatively simple, it's just one molecule, it's cheap, it probably costs to make it a cent per pill, a few cents, uh, and available globally. Uh, it's very exciting that there could be something already that could be prescribed, not just for type 2 diabetes, but to slow down aging as well. What really is what we're talking about here is, in part, classifying and regarding aging as a treatable disease. That is what really is going on in, in some of the countries that we talked about. Once you do that, it means that doctors would be much more comfortable prescribing a drug like metformin before you get type 2 diabetes and before you get uh, the typical manifestations of aging. And that we, uh, Andrew and I and, and others believe that is really the best way uh, to address healthcare. It's the biggest bang for the buck, as we've shown in this paper, for a very cheap uh, you know, few, few cents a day. And what really, if you think about it, the majority of uh, age-related diseases are uh, not caused by smoking, not so much caused by a uh, bad diet, it's caused by aging. Uh, and we've 
far too long neglected that fact. But uh, finally, I think uh, many people in the world, thanks to Andrew's book and perhaps uh, some people who've read mine, are understanding that you can't just address diseases alone. You need to get at the root cause of these diseases, which is aging itself. In other words, the processes that lead our body to become frail and less able to fight against the ravages of time. <laughs>